Maybe he has no voice? It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Out! Well, I would like to say that we are at 3,994 subscribers! Six more to go to hit my 4,000 goal. It'll probably take a week to get there. <laughs> Come on, guys. Share our videos and get us six more subscribers before the end of the week. So we make it. Yes. Yes. Okay. We have some shout-outs. Yeah, some new people. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Lee Sanders. Welcome to the neighborhood. Smiles, welcome to the neighborhood. Lisa Kelly, welcome to the neighborhood. Ethan Wright Productions, when he joined the neighborhood, he said we needed eight more to hit a thousand. We're down to six more. So, Ethan, welcome to the neighborhood. And Jessa J, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay. Remember, I'm giving five channels that I watch shout-outs. Today, I'm going with Cajun Tinkerbell. Awesome channel. Go by and check her out. Water's Wife Vlogs. Awesome channel. Go by and check her out. Tracy B. Another awesome channel. If any of you guys aren't following these people that I'm announcing, you need to go check them out. Pattinson Fan. She does a lot of artwork on her channel. Go by and check her out. The Family of Sunshine. Amy Martin, all the way over in the UK. Go check her out. She's awesome. Okay, my question yesterday was, with the help of Melody Mainville, where and how did you come up with your YouTube name? Okay, so... <coughs> Angie Lupus Life. I got my YouTube name from being diagnosed with lupus. Angie Lupus Life. Mm -hmm. Stephen W., also known as The Right Times, W-R-I-G-H-T. I got my channel name just by process of elimination. It's my surname, but all the different ideas I tried using my surname with were either taken or didn't feel right. So I ended up with the right times. I think that's pretty cool. So, there you go. Um, and Trans Am Girly. I used to have a 1996 Trans Am back in the early 2000s when I created my YouTube name. I actually had my 2000 Mitsubishi Eclipse a lot longer than my Trans Am. I got rid of my sports car, which I'm assuming is the Trans Am, when my kids started growing. My six foot, six foot two inch son didn't really fit in the back seat any longer. Yeah, I'd say it was time to uh, get a bigger car. <laughs> okay, Susie here. My best friend came up with the spelling of Susie, which is S-U-E-Z-I, and stuck with it. She passed away five years ago, so I kept it. So, Susie was taken on YouTube, so I tried Susie here, and it worked. So, pretty cool. Okay, and... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Tresemme won. She's Gemini, so her and her hubby always joked about there being two of her. So she named her other twin Tressa. So Tressa is me and the number one at the end, Tressa May. The last one is the YouTube guy, 1985. Ah. Depending on where he goes, he's always known as The Guy. So, on YouTube, he's known as The YouTube Guy. And 1985 is a very important year in his life. So, 
Do you want to tell them how we got our name? Well, it's we talk about it a lot, so I I'm know, sure everybody knows about it. Uh, well, we got some new subscribers <laughs> that may not know. So, uh, Nikki and John lived next door to us for about three or four years, right? Well, Nikki and John, first of all, she don't want Nikki and John Vlogs, also known Nikki and John Pranksters in Love. Okay, go. So, Nikki and John lived next to us for about three or four years, and I think they were here uh, a year or so before we, we started actually hanging out with them. Uh, Megan started uh, hanging out with Nikki. And we, a lot of times we would hear noises coming out of the house, lots of screams mostly and bangs and stuff. And so uh, we, we tended to ignore it. Uh, one Halloween party they, they came over and we got to talking with them and um, uh, we became friends. And they, that's when Megan started showing up on the, vlog, on the vlogs and they kept referring to us as the neighbors. So we're going over the neighbors. The neighbors did this. The neighbors are coming over there. So we decided, well, if we're going to start a YouTube name, and I would say it was a couple of years before we decided, well, let's give it a try. And so well, let's just call ourselves the neighbors. And when we came up with that, there was the TV show, the neighbors, and the movie out, the neighbors. So when we created it and you searched the neighbors, you couldn't really find us. But now, if you search the neighbors, we're second on the list. Who's first? I think the movie. I think the movie. Alright. So, that's how we got our name. <clears throat> okay. So, my question for tonight is, are you serious minded or are you a jokester? Explain your answer. It is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Go beep, ahead and get stick it out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, so last night's question was about Halloween H2O from 1998, 20 years after the original. First time that uh, Jamie Lee Curtis came back to uh, reprise her role as uh, Lori Strode. And her mother actually was in it and plays her secretary, as I remember. And um, as they like to do in these films, there are all kinds of references to uh, Psycho. Because um, um, Janet Lee, her mother, was the original um, you know, murder victim in the movie Psycho. Well, she comes out at some point and says, can I be uh, act a little maternal? You know, and her name is Norma. As in Norma Bates. Bates, which is the mom of uh, uh, Norman Bates. And I don't remember what he says to her, but um, she ends up go, go, uh, walking away and getting into a 1957 Ford, I think it was. The exact same car that uh, she used in the, um, Psycho. in the movie Psycho. The license plate on it um, was, is the license plate uh, from the movie. Uh, the car that she gets this to, when she dumps the first one, and also the plate says uh, N W N R B N R B, which is uh, Norman Bates' uh, initials. initials. Okay, they also play a little snippet of uh, music from Psycho at the same time. There's references to uh, showers not working that Norma talks about, and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's son. Girlfriend says that uh, at this rate you're going to end up living with your mother for the next 20 years, which is another reference. And there's probably a million more, but those are the ones that um, uh, I only found four of them. The rest of them I got from everybody else. So do a lot more research than I do, apparently. So the ghost who got that one right was Terry Johnson, the YouTube guy, Bambi S. Cole today and Tanya Long. Woohoo! Tonight's going to be The Lost Boys, 1987. Loved that movie. I didn't, can't realize how old that is now because I remember watching it in the theater and everything. Um, why does Kiefer Sutherland wear gloves throughout the whole movie? There's a reason. That's it. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community. We would not be here if it wasn't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. 
Ha ha! Good! Ha ha! Fine. How'd you do it? Let me see. That doesn't look like a heart. That's a diamond. So? Diamonds are our girls. Alright, alright. We love you all very much. Give this video a great big thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you all tomorrow. Okay.